I was embroiled in something recently. We're embroiled. Who did you piss off? That's the real question you got to say. Because if you come up to me and you're like, oh, I was embroiled. Nah, that's not it. You Fair. pissed the motherfucker off. Fair. And then you went petty with it. What happened? When you hear what happened, you're going to say to me, okay, nigga, that, you got embroiled. Probably. No, no, no. No problem. I, I, I get what you're saying. But when you see this, you're going to say, I didn't piss nobody off. I, I'm telling you right now, I'm looking you right in the eyes. I'm looking them in the eyes too. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a video. Yeah. This video caused this individual a lot of problems. Ready? Set. I used to compete in ballroom dancing. Hey. So I know all of this. You and Ayla. Dances. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you guys are over here this fucking weird? perfect form? I haven't done them in so long though. Wait, what kind of ballroom? What are you, what are you doing? All the 10 dances. <sighs> I was competing all lot. of them. That's a lot. I've seen it. I haven't done it in years, is the thing, so I'm very curious if I started. But like, I, I can understand, like if we danced, you would be able to like, what do you Lead call you. It? Like, yeah, exactly, really well, because I would probably figure out like the basic steps and I would figure out like how to do everything. All right, Even find though out. I no. Hold up, 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 hold Mel time. It's Mel time. Oh, she got the yeah. four. Okay, right. so we're just doing salsa or we're just going? Yep. Yeah. Who the girl? His wife. Oh, it's his wife. His wife. Mm -hmm. Um, Destiny's wife. Mm -hmm. So they're lesbians. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cool. We're good. Same love. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You see why you have a problem with lesbian love? No. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. All right, let's keep watching. Yeah. Yeah, you, you wanna know how she knew, she, she knew what she was doing? She did this, she went. <laughs> That's how I knew, man. She started flexing them shoulders and them traps. I was like, oh, she's not fucking playing. Damn. But what's the context? Okay, you ready? She's a ballroom dancer. And we danced. And and now everyone's saying he's a cuck. <sighs> you mean people that do not dance? People that are not in that dancing world? People that don't know what the fuck is going on. People that when go to, they go to the party, that's how they dance. People that have not been in this world. People that don't know that in order for you to get better in that setting of couple dancing, you need to dance with other people. Yeah, those people, they don't matter. Okay. They just like black lives. That's such a nothing sandwich. Why are we even talking about this? Because people are, are, are upset about it. And I figured, why don't we talk about it? Uh, right? You bunch of two-step having little bitches. You don't know shit about fuck about that world. Shut the fuck up about that shit. Okay? You don't know nothing about that. Anyways, okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's talk about that. Because I, let, let, I let, cut let, you off. So go ahead. Yeah, what were you saying? We're talking I'm to sorry. people who may not get it who might think this is a weird thing. Say, letting someone dance with my wife? Well, everything is contextual. Okay? Oh, everything is contextual. Am I just grinding up behind her in the middle of a club? What am I doing? Are we line dancing? Oh my god. You know, days. people are acting like dancing with somebody the opposite sex is inherently sexual, not knowing you just haven't been out. <laughs> That's it. Because if you go to a Latin club, you go to a lot of Latin countries, it's it's normal to dance with your friend's wife, your friend's mom, your mom, his grandmother. Everything is very respectful. Of course, there's a way to dance salsa with somebody you're in love with or interested in, and there's a way to dance with somebody you just cool with. When you hold a ballroom setting, this is not sexual. Okay? No, it's what we call... <laughs> hmm. What? It's not sexual, but it's what we call a box. <laughs> yeah. But you maintain a frame be, to be it, respectful. You have a frame right Absolutely. here. So the main thing that you fucking newbies don't know about this shit yeah. is that you come in with your frame, right? You uh -huh. go like this. Uh -huh. So you tell the girl, he, or you put your hands like that to the girl, right? Depending on what kind of dance you do. Yeah. So he does a lot of salsa. I do salsa, uh, bachata, kizomba, whatever. Dances are very close together. And you dance with someone that you don't know, I'm establish a frame with the lady. Absolutely. And the lady is going to go in. See, that's where her back lays. So I give her enough space 
face that if she goes against my aunt, that's why I'm going to stay. But if she gets closer, that's going to be the, 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 the lane that she is comfortable with. But y'all don't know nothing about that. And it's okay. It's fine. Calling it a cuck, you're out, you're out of pocket. You're out of line. You're making something out of a thing that is not a thing, right? So I, when it, go ahead. No, no, no. I want to so basically, that's what it is. So And that's exactly what, if you rewatch the video, that's exactly what you did. You went like this. Your husband is here. I'm going to become. There was a lot of rules that you guys don't know because you don't know you don't know nothing about that anyways i'm done go ahead <laughs> stupid 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 it's just <laughs> so dumb didn't i tell you though that i didn't piss nobody off that they just got pissed off oh my days you know what in that case you took that shit and you ran with it you actually that's that's one of the first time that you were not petty out of all the time that you delivery piss off people, me included, this time? Oh, that was not it. I know. That was not it. <laughs> Actually, you did two things. You did not piss nobody off, and in the process, you pissed me off with this dumb shit. Yeah, buddy. That's why. That's I, genius. That's why I let you rock at the beginning. That's dumb, I though. I let you rock because I knew you were going to take that shit back. I knew it. That's why I'm like, you know what? You know when you're right? And somebody's digging their own grave, but they don't know it because they think they're digging your grave. Oh, I'm not yeah. even about a grave no more. You, you got. That's not your world. Not your. But I, you, I, I'll so say lame. This. So fucking lame. I'll say this. Oh my. I, I think days. people, in, especially in like the Western world, they just you got blinders for your own cultural experience, not recognize that even within your own country, there's different things. Yay. In your city right now, there are couples every single day going out to salsa, swing events, and dancing with different partners the entire night. It's not this overly set. I can tell you this. I go out dancing. I dance with dozens of women throughout the entire night. I don't sleep with a single one of them. He said swing events, uh, not swingers events. <laughs> yeah. Like swing, swing the dancing. Accent, like the actual dance yeah. swing that you do on jazz. I would highly recommend you guys get acclimated to these environments. The Yo. cool thing about being there is you get constant proximity to women without a sexual connotation to it. You're just getting used to just talking to them, approaching them for a dance, saying thank you, and then walking away. And it's a good way to kind of break the ice for yourself to realize like this is not some pedestaled woman that you're like, no, it's just a person, okay? And so for me, I'm so disconnected from that aspect. I just love dancing. I, I go out every time I travel, I go to the night out. I don't know nobody when I leave. I don't know nobody when I go. I dance with a bunch of strangers and I go home. It's not this... I think when you guys think of dancing, you only see it in the context of a club or a, a hip hop music video. The last context of dancing you had was Dirty Dancing the movie. That's what it is. Yeah. That's so your last reference to dance. It's, a, it's important to know these things aren't the same. Yo. Okay. Well, this is about uh, Hollywood, man. Come yeah, and out. she told me she was a ballroom dancer in the past. I was like, perfect. I, let me check out what you got. That's it. But, you know, everyone making a big deal of this. I'm rolling my eyes. I think some of you guys need to go outside a little bit more and experience different things. If you're not comfortable with that kind of thing, that's fine. You don't have to be. But you can't attribute to it some kind of intent that's not there. Especially when, like, there's millions of people who do it every oh day without days. that. You okay? guys are fucking lame. It's like, yo, I got videos on me on Instagram dancing with a bunch of people or partners who I've had over the years. And guess what? I'm not stuck with a single one of them. Not everything that involves the opposite sex involves sex. Bro, my girl. But I, you, you can't even do a collaboration with a woman without retards in the comment section who are like incel virgins or some kind of weird shit thinking like y'all banged. There's been times where I've collabed with a woman. Everybody went, oh, y'all banged for sure. None of that happened. None of that happened. There's not been a single woman that I've collabed with online that I've slept with. But for you guys, you can't imagine that because men and women being in the same space is inherently sex. You go to European countries, there's plenty of people who have different folk dances in the area where they dance with other people, men and women. Do you, you think you see Dancing with the Stars and every time there's two people dancing, banging. they're banging? Yo, it's funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, yo, yo. Go the ahead. Same, these red pill motherfuckers or the people around that or the people that have, sort of have that mentality. They're not red pills, but they have the same direction of mentality. You understand? It's the same dude that was calling me gay back then when I was dancing with girls because I was dancing with girls. 
and not doing nothing. You're the same dudes. That's fact. You're the same dudes. You're the same. Yo, you, yo, you dancing with girls? <laughs> That's gay. What you do? I play football with the boys. My, you, 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 you mean to tell me that man tackling another man is a, is you a fish? Yo, straight dudes. You a fish? Sometimes straight dudes be doing the gay shit, looking at everybody else sideways. Like, King fish. Bro, learning how to dance. Crayfish. Starfish. That shit made me roll my eyes so you hard. You see me? Yo, it's just so. It's. The, I was really legit looking for some. In their defense, I feel like if you sit there and you say, I wouldn't want my girl dancing with other people. That's okay. If you guys want to have that understanding, that's fine. But what you can't do is look at everyone else who does it and say, oh, if you do that, it's because you're inherently this or whatever. I actually, you know what my favorite part is about going out dance? I dance with old women, young women, uh, middle-aged women, and it's a joy. I actually love dancing with a lot of the older women, one, because they have a lot of experience. And when I mean older, I mean like people in their 60s. 70s. Yeah. Even though their movement range isn't great, like... The abuelas, I'm telling you right no, now, no, no. they know what the fuck no. they do it. You know what it is? No, the, hey, you know what they're good at? They make the they make the simple things look good. Oh yeah. That's what you know. Yeah. You about, and you know what they do? Yeah. You know what they do? They make you feel good about your thing. When when you make a good and she smiles and yeah. she like, there's a fun that that's the thing is that you rarely communicate with those people unless yeah. it's people in your family. Yeah. And now you're able to just connect with people like that and they show you some they show you some they show you they 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 jive and stuff like that. It's it's it's, it's, it's I don't know, whatever. It's a I'm, I'm gonna thing. take it's, it a step higher. I'm gonna take it a step higher. Yeah, but are they gonna understand? I, I, I think it, I'm gonna take it a step higher. Dance made me come in contact with people I would have never spoken to ever. Definitely. People who I would have never had a single word with, all of a sudden we're dancing, we're sharing a beautiful moment, and then we say thank you, and we go our separate ways, and that's it. But for those four or five minutes, we really enjoyed each other's company, okay? And when I'm meeting a 60 or 70-year-old you know, Latin woman who doesn't speak any English, but she accepts a dance, and we both smile and enjoy ourselves, it's like, bro, we're Define even the language barrier to yeah. enjoy something special. I was so, I was in Russia, <laughs> walking in the street at night yeah. in Saint Petersburg. Yeah, and then I hear some Latin music, and I'm like, "Oh, was this now?" <laughs> that, 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 that's not what you said. You went, "Oh, no!" I went like this. Oh, I trained my whole life for this. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but I went, oh, I told my two boys, I was like, yo, I don't know what the hell you guys doing, but I'm going over there. I went there and I danced with people that spoke nothing but Russian. Yeah. And we was able to speak. You yeah, know, they were, were just like, death to Ukraine. Were, it was, yeah, it was, Ukraine got to go. Yo, yeah. Yeah, all them niggas. Get the fuck, fuck NATO. Out, get the fuck out one, of two, here. three, and five, six, seven. Everybody knew that one, two, three, five, six, seven. It don't matter where you're from. Yeah. It's just, anyways, whatever. It, it was like, and you do that, that good thing and you hear WIPA, yo. <laughs> Listen, I, like it, like it, I, don't, I don't even know. There's some things I, I don't have to explain. You get it or you don't. Yeah. But calling someone cook or whatever, whatnot, yeah. you guys are lame for that. It's, it's okay. I, I want to at least just be able to talk about the benefits of that. Like if you even look from study standpoint, how lame. good it is for your health, for your mentality. Lame. And honestly, I'll say this too. I notice this going out to socials often, even going to clubs or land clubs or whatever. I noticed that for the old people who go, it is like the highlight of their week. Yeah. Because you can tell like for them, their social life probably isn't the most expansive. But when they go out dancing two or three times a week, for them, it gets their bodies moving, which is great for their health, but also for their spirit because they're interacting with people, a community. You know, as we go through life and everybody becomes more separated, kids get older, folks move away, we become more isolated. Dance communities really offer a lot. They offer a lot. They offer you an opportunity to bond with humans, which is like one of our basic human needs. And so, yeah, I don't know. I, when I think about it now, dance has given me friends. Uh, it's given me communities. It's given me family. Uh, it's given me health. It's given me so many beautiful things. And I think during the pandemic, when that got taken away from me, I didn't realize how much I suffered till I got it back. So, yeah, whatever they want to say about this, that's fine. But again, Maybe there's just more experiences for you guys to check out and learn Whatever, from. Man, you're missing out. And it's okay that you're missing out. Yeah. Anything else? No. 
That's such a nothing burger, bro. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, 